Hi guys, I'm Mary Dawn with MB's General Channel, and we are here in Atlantic City. We're at one of the oldest bars, I was told, I'm going to get the information, called the Irish Pub and Inn. And this is the owner, Kathy. She's going to tell me a couple things about this place. So, well, first of all, it's a pleasure to meet you. And one of the, my favorite things in the world to do is tell people for the first time when, when they've made their first visit all about the Irish pub. So the Irish pub actually was built as the Elwood Hotel back in 1900. I have a picture on the wall inside that is dated September 4th, 1920. And it describes a raid that took place by the feds when they closed it down during Prohibition. Talks about how all the patrons around the bar followed the feds down to the beach where they threw the liquor in the ocean. Oh my God. Tried to beat them up. Oh my God. And then they confiscated all the liquor and brought it back. <laughs> so we, we have a lot of great history at the Irish pub. Any haunted stories? Well, I've been here all my life. I've never seen a ghost. Okay. But I have people that come in that claim that they're very... Um, uh, sensitive to spirits and they feel a presence. I've had people say that, but in my own experience, no. But I am going to take you on a little bit of a tour of our beautiful inn. Okay. And of course, our inside bar. We are now sitting outside in our beautiful patio bar. And uh, my husband Richard and I have been operating the Irish Pub and Inn since the 1970s. Oh, wow. We were built in 1900 and we are. I can honestly say, as you sit here, we are the oldest and only uh, pub and inn that is left from that era in Atlantic City. Now, how did you guys fare through the whole shutdown with COVID? Well, as I sit here now and speak about it, I can only say that we're here, thank God, healthy, no issues. Um, we... Uh, had to downsize like everybody else. Uh, we had to maintain a certain rules and regulations. But, uh, you know, a lot of people would say to me, they'd come in and say, boy, you must be so upset. You know what, when we're hit with something as severe as this pandemic has been, uh, I'm grateful for the fact that we were able to operate even though we were downsized. And I'm grateful that we were able to get through it along with our patrons as well as we did. And that's because we have a wonderful staff and wonderful people who would come in and they would cooperate. We didn't, not one day did we have anybody that resisted that. And that, that made it a lot better. It sure because is. we're an Irish pub. Yeah. And the, the year before last, you know, when in 2020, we were close to St. Patrick's Day. So in 2021, St. Patrick's Day, I thought, oh my goodness, with all the people that want to come in and celebrate, it's going to be really tough. I didn't want people to be upset because we had to maintain so much distance, and that was a worry, but I need not have worried. Everybody was respectful. Everybody had a great time. And of course, we have the benefit of the outside, so we were able to operate. Sure. And uh, thank God. That yep. part of it is over. Amazing. Yeah. I can't wait to see the rest. Well, thank you for now. We'll continue.